for Strack Stroke. My name is Dr. Magnus. Today I want to talk to you about cocaine and how it causes stroke. In this episode, we'll talk about how cocaine affects the heart, which could be a risk factor for having stroke. So when an individual decides to do cocaine, either snorting it, smoking it, or injecting it into their vein, they are introducing a stimulant into the system. One organ we are particularly interested in is the heart. In a normal case, the heart will pump and when it relaxes, it will fill the coronary arteries and it will feed itself with the needed oxygen, nutrients, and get rid of waste it doesn't need. So it requires adequate amount of time relaxing to feed itself so that it can work again. The heart under the influence of cocaine is working harder and faster. The heart is working overtime and does not have time to relax or that the time in diastole is reduced. When this happens, it creates a scenario where there's a high oxygen demand but low supply. When the heart is not getting the oxygen it needs, it then leads to ischemia. So when this happens over and over and over again, whenever the individual does cocaine, the heart starts to become weaker and weaker because we're losing heart muscle. How does having a weak heart lead to development of stroke? When the heart is weak and is not feeding the brain with the oxygen and the blood that it requires, it can lead to individual developing global ischemia, which means the entire brain will be affected. Another scenario is that the weak heart, because it's not pumping adequately, the blood can stick uh, around a little bit longer within the left ventricle and clot can form and that clot from the weak portion of the left ventricle can move into the brain and cause an ischemic stroke. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this information useful. On the next episode, we'll talk about cocaine and how it affects the blood vessels, which then leads to having a stroke. And always remember to dial 911 if you or someone near you suddenly can't see, can't, can't speak, can't walk, or can't feel. Let the operator know that you or someone near you might be having a stroke so that you or the individual near you can be transported to the nearby comprehensive or primary stroke center for rapid stroke analysis and tailored treatment.